Hi everybody, welcome to Supernova TV. We're talking to Jack Gleason, who's of course Joffrey Baratheon in Game of Thrones and is now not. Um, yeah. So you, you played a character that, you know, let's be frank, wasn't, wasn't um, well loved, yeah. but at the same time was loved for being such a complete and utter mm. evil person. Mm. Um, what prepares you for that? Like, as, as an actor, yeah. is it difficult to get that much kind of hate aimed at you? Not at all, actually. No, I mean, not at all. Like, it's uh, if people were if people were saying like, oh, you know, that guy Jack, he's an awful actor. Then I'd feel pretty bad about myself. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I feel like uh, you know, my 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 job was to kind of uh, bring bring the character to life, and the character is pretty hateable. So if 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 uh, people hate the character, then I think that's a good thing. I mean, in a way, in a way, it's 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 almost the opposite. I'd kind of like. Uh, you know, if I was a truly great actor, I'd get people onto Joffrey's side and kind of, you know, get them to empathize with him. So, uh, but in general, in general, I, I take it as a compliment, yeah. And, and, and I think it should be, because, I mean, it, it's exceptional work to make somebody that is so believably, you know, <laughs> dislikeful. And I'm trying to do this without insulting you. No, but it's, um, not, it's not an insult. It's like people are always like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, I don't mean it to offend you, but it's like, you know, I really that's, hated you. But it's my yeah. job, you know. It's like it's, uh, you know, I'm not like that in real life at all. And it's like I could have, I could have just as well, perhaps played like a good guy, you know. Well, that's just it. I mean, and and if that were the case, would you be as memorable? I think that's the thing. Yeah, you come not. away from that with with such a strong image of, of your capability as an actor to make someone so dislikable. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I feel like the character. I feel like you'd be a pretty bad actor if you made like Joffrey like not exceptionally hateable. It's yeah. like the things he does are just so horrible. So it's like the, the kind of actions from an objective point of view are so reprehensible that if, if people went away from the show being like, ah, Joffrey's not too bad. It's like, you'd have to be a pretty bad actor, you know? Yeah. It's like, all you have to do is like, just be mean to everyone and then, you know, you've done your job. Yeah. I'm in Artist Alley and I have found Patty here. Patty, can you tell me a little about what it is you do? Uh, well, I'm an author of science fiction and fantasy. I sell mainly online and I come to um, come here because I like to interact with fans and, and uh, with, with readers. Absolutely. Yes. So if you could describe Supernova and the atmosphere here in one word, which word would you use? Crazy. <laughs> it's just... You know, seeing all these people in weird costumes is, is like really amazing and that's just a fun part of it. Yes. Do you have a favourite costume that you've seen this weekend? Um, yeah, there's a guy around here who walks around, he looks like the Grim Reaper and he's about a metre taller than everyone else. He's got, he's walking on stilt. Have you seen him? I haven't seen him no. yet, but he sounds scary. He is scary. He's really amazing. He's got this voice box thing going on. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for chatting with us, and I hope you have a successful day at Supernova. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me who you're dressed as? A UA, the Moon Princess. And I'm Soccer of the Southern Water Tribe. From what? Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. It's one of our favourites. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Now, how long did it take to make these costumes? Uh, two months on and off, a couple of times a week after work. So, yeah. Was it a joint effort? Uh, we've got a lighting system that we couldn't bring up because we're from Tasmania that I did for her. So that's great when it's here, but at the moment... <laughs> At the moment, everything is yours. Yes, yes. When, when, when we do have the moon halo, I light up like a Christmas tree. Hey, can you tell me who I'm standing with? I'm Locus from the popular web, web series Red vs Blue. And you made this yourself, correct? How long did it take? Uh, on and off, this took me about three months to make. What's it made from? Uh, it's made entirely out of EVA foam. And this character, why, why did you choose to cosplay as this character? I really liked his uh, motives and just being a real soldier and uh, following out uh, his orders no matter what. Now, I, I hate to ask it because I'm sure you get it a lot, but have you seen the uh, medieval fun time world? Yeah, uh, the, 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 the dog lip or whatever lip you call reading. it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love it. Yeah, it's the yeah. best. I, think it's I don't the... like how they portray me in oh, it, but... Uh... Really? Because I love that guy. <laughs> Eat sand, young man. I hate it. He's got such an annoying voice. Yeah. But uh, I love those videos, all of them. I think they're incredible. They're amazing. And 
do you do you become a part of uh, pop culture in that you become memes and stuff like that? Is yeah, there are memes out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean uh, the like I don't really I don't really come across them a lot uh, myself. But um, I was talking with someone recently, and they were like, "Oh, did anyone ever do like any fan fiction?" <laughs> and there has been one fa incredible one between like me and like Joffrey. So like oh. Jack and Joffrey. Yeah. So. It was it, pretty. It was pretty cool. Is it? Was it a, a uh, one of it was those an R, kind of fan It was fiction? an R-rated uh, fan fiction. Good. So that's right. that's that's the extent of my of my knowledge of kind of Game of Thrones memes. Right. Okay. Well, so. that's you know. Let's leave it at that then. Cause yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I think any further into that direction, we go into a very dark path. Yeah. Indeed. It's quite. It's quite intense. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Cool. Cheers, man. Thanks so much.